Today we're gonna have three boys and three girls battle in a $100 King of the Hill match to decide who's better at Clash Royale. First up we have the boys, BJ with the 1929 medals personal best on Path of Legends, Riley with 2100 medals, and Obito with 2300 medals. And for their competitors, we have Noah with a 2000 medal personal best, Kathy with a 1850 medal personal best, and Michelle with a 2500 medal personal best. Get ready for the next battle. To start off with, we have DJ for the boys and Noah for the girls. I tried to give each team pretty evenly matched players, but I think one or two of the boys may have been bluffing about their personal best, just slightly. The girls do overall have a slightly higher personal best in this lineup, but it's basically the same on both sides. Should be a pretty fair match. Looks like DJ has Hog Earthquake and Noah has Logbait. I'm gonna have to root for DJ to win here, I want the Hog Earthquake player to win. This whole thing is a 3v3 King of the Hill, so each team has three players, and each player gets out when they lose one time, and whichever team loses all three players first is the loser. The winning team will get $100, so if the boys win, they're probably going to use it to either buy shop offers or get something like Lego sets, and if the girls win, they're going to get some very fancy food and maybe beauty products or something like that. Actually, never mind, because beauty products are way too expensive. <laughs> Oh, nice hog connection for DJ. Pretty much even so far. I don't think that princess will die. Yeah, not quite. That's pretty bad for DJ. Forcing out the log. He has nothing for the barrel now. Okay, kind of a wasted Evo Cracker, but he had to play it. I feel like DJ does have a good chance to win this matchup. The Inferno Tower does really slow down the log bait player's cycle. If they have Tesla, it's so hard in this matchup, but with Inferno Tower, it's definitely beatable. But Noah does have her King Tower up, so it is going to be kind of hard to break through if she's able to keep up with his cycle. Really good Evo Skeletons for Noah. Oh, that's going to kill the Hog too. Maybe a bit of an overkill Inferno Tower, but no damage taken for Noah, so that's pretty good for her. That is a bit of a Juke Barrel. Oh, forcing out the Earthquake. If I were DJ, I would have played the Earthquake on the tower, and then I think the Evo Skeletons would have still countered the Goblin Barrel. <laughs> I feel like DJ's playing more like the Logbait player than Noah. <laughs> He's kind of showing Riley's traits. <laughs> he is using the Log on the Princess quite a bit, which I don't really agree with. I feel like it's a lot better to save it for the Barrel. No Earthquake now for the Inferno Tower, so pretty good counter for Noah. DJ will get to the Evo Firecracker very soon, though, which could be pretty nice. Wait, is that going to hit everything? Not the firecrackers. Kind of a wasted log, though. He's going to have to firecracker? Yeah, but another wasted evolved firecracker, so that's not too good for DJ. This could go either way. I'm actually kind of surprised that both players are playing pretty well so far. But I feel like Noah does have a bit better control right now on the field because DJ has to usually waste the firecrackers on the barrels, whereas Noah is getting more value out of her princess. Okay, he finally has a login cycle for the barrel. When we do get to triple elixir here, it will be a lot better for Noah too, because then she can start rocket cycling pretty freely. She can't Inferno Tower for this hog, so this will be some damage for her. But princess is on the tower. Oh, that's so bad for DJ. Firecracker will kill the Evo skeletons and stuff though, I think. Yeah. You know, maybe I should have coached DJ on Hoggy Q before this match, but I still have faith he can win here. He definitely can. The Inferno Tower will die pretty soon, so maybe he can get a Hog Rider off before Noah gets back to her, her stuff. That was one Goblin Stab, though. She's playing pretty good Tricky Barrels. It's not that hard to spot a Tricky Barrel, but sometimes if you're in a high-pressure situation, it's easy to start missing. Nice Goblin Barrel catch there, though, without wasting his log. Oh, but he has to log the princess, yeah. Bit of a missed earthquake. I don't even blame these players, though, for missing a few things, because it's so hard if you're in an intense situation. I don't know how he's going to stop the Evo Knight without his Mighty Miner in cycle. Okay, really good Evo Skeletons, though. I don't think Noah has much for it. Oh, really nice earthquake. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, she just barely got the Inferno Tower. But he might be able to outcycle her. I think. Okay. 
and Hog Rider. Okay, bit of a delayed Hog Rider, but he still has a chance. Oh, he should have hit the Princess with the Earthquake. Wait, hold up. He needs to pressure. He needs to pressure. He can't let her get the rocket off. If he lets her get the rocket... Oh, she got the rocket. But can she defend the Hog Rider in time? Oh, no, the missed Earthquake. Oh, dude, I feel for DJ, man. I do that sometimes, too. No, nah, that's good game. 1-0 for the girls. Get ready for the next battle. Next up for the boys, we have Riley trying to take down Noah. Riley told me he took a cold plunge just a bit ago to lock in for this game. He should be pretty good to go here unless he misses the win. <laughs> Don't worry though guys, this isn't the log bait Riley, it's a different Riley. Much better player of course, so I'm not too worried for him. I think he does have a slightly higher metal personal best than Noah does, so he should have a nice chance here. I think he does have P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, looks like it. Noah has some type of minor cycle deck. I think he was hoping Noah would play some type of beatdown deck because P.E.K.K.A. is pretty difficult to play when you face a cycle deck that has strong defense. He just said he's very comfortable with P.E.K.K.A. so I guess that's why he's playing it even though it's not the number one meta deck. Also, I gotta give a shout out to Riley for only playing one evolution. He's level 14, and most of the other players are level 15, so he only has one evo slot, whereas Noah has two evo slots. Will definitely be a bit harder for him, but I feel like he can definitely still win if he makes some nice outplays. He's going to have to make some really good double lane pushes. Bit of an early poison by Noah, so Little Prince won't fully die here. Okay, we'll to the log. But he's up so much elixir. Nice P.E.K.K.A. He's up like 6 elixir right now. This might be the push that could get him some nice damage. He just really needs to make sure he's capitalizing off of Noah's misplays. That's how you win with P.E.K.K.A. by just capitalizing off your opponent's mistakes. P.E.K.K.A. doesn't really counter very many decks, but you just win a lot by getting your opponent to make a misplay. What? How did the Evo Skeleton survive the zap? I think it spawned right as the zap came down, so even though he placed it right, it still <laughs> just did that. Wow, that's kind of crazy. That just made him lose a whole 7 elixir P.E.K.K.A. off of 1 elixir. Because of a broken interaction. Good defense by Noah so far though. But man, I feel like Riley at least deserved some damage there. Not a bad pencil. He is down quite a bit, but I still have faith that he could do something. If he loses this, the boys will be down 2-0 and we can't have that. He's locked in, guys. He's He's got this. Ghost may get a hit on the tower. Interesting delivery by Noah. Don't know if I agree with that. Ghost got a bit of damage. Ooh, I don't know about the Little Prince, though. That Miner got a bit of damage, but she's also going to poison. Yeah, I knew it. So that's going to get quite a bit of damage for her, too. The thing is, the cannon is so cheap, so Noah's able to cycle to them really quickly. If, if you face Inferno Tower when you're playing a P.E.K.K.A. deck, it's kind of easier, because then they can only cycle one instead of just getting so many of them. Yeah, she's already back, so she's completely fine here. Ghost may get on Tower, though, if he's able to zap. Okay, not quite. Little Prince will kill the Evo Skellies, I think. Not the best ghost into the night, but this should be okay for him. For Riley. No ability. Oh, he does go for the ability. Not the best ability right into the cannon. Bandit might get a bit of a chain, though. Not even. Okay, really good minor catch. I feel like Noah's playing her miners mostly in the same spot. Very aggressive poison. That's a Nate type of poison. If you guys know who Nate is, he's a small Clash Rail YouTuber. He always overcommits with poison when he's playing minor poison, but he gets away with it every time because the defense is so broken of the deck. Wait, I don't know if the pencil's going to go for that cannon. It's not. But I feel like Noah is still fine because <laughs> that was just such a broken delivery. Evo Skeletons are chaining like crazy. It's really the Evo Skeletons... That are stopping Riley from getting much damage. Even with a zap, it's still hard to kill them sometimes, as you saw early on. They just kept on spawning even through a zap. They also spawn right through a poison sometimes. Aggressive poison again, but it's not that bad value for Noah. You know, I almost want to just join in this tournament and help my boy. Help my boys. You know, I can't let them 
go down like this. I'm hoping the boys can do something still. But I don't think Riley is going to win this. Wait, unless the P.E.K.K.A. goes a bit crazy. He does have something going here. But yeah, not enough, I think. Just the defense is way too good from Noah. Man. Noah might actually sweep the entire boys team. But I will tell you guys, the last boy is the best. And he said if it comes to it, he's going to reverse sweep the girls. So, hey, hopefully he can do something. Get ready for the next battle. Alright, we have Obito for the boys, challenging Noah. The girls are now up 2-0, so if Obito loses, the boys are completely out of it and the girls win. Noah does have the Evo Firecracker, might be a Hoggy Q deck. Oh no, it's Miner. It might be that old Evo Firecracker Miner cycle deck that was made when Firecracker was really broken. It looks like it. Obito does have some Miner deck of himself. Looks like just the typical Miner Poison deck. I think Noah has no tank. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that deck has no knight or anything. A little bit of damage on the tower. Actually, quite a good start for Obito. He's also up Elixir. Bit of a late miner by Noah. Ooh, late on the Ice Spirit for Obito. But Noah's down quite a few Elixir, if you include the knight on the board. Obito might be able to pressure a bit here with something. Not exactly sure what he has in cycle, though. Noah doesn't have the Evo Bats, so I'm not really too worried for Obito. The thing is, guys, if the boys win, they're going to get some nice Lego sets. If the girls win, they're just going to get whatever else I said earlier. And I think Lego sets would be a better use of money. So my heart kind of breaks if I think about the girls winning. But you know what? I have faith in Obito. I'm pretty sure Obito is the name of an anime character. I disrespected Obito before. And I don't take it back either. <laughs> Just for your guys' information. <laughs> but I had no idea what Obito was until some comments told me after I roasted the name. Obito will get to the Evo Mortar after this one, which will be pretty nice. Don't think Mortar will get on tower, but there's a chance it does actually. Will be some nice Evo Firecracker damage for Noah. She's not too far behind. Pretty nice log value. Good Evo Skeletons too. Obito has no log to kill them. But he should be okay. I feel like the Mortar is going to help him out a little bit more than the Bomb Tower is going to help out Noah. There's the Evo Mortar, which might be what he really needs. Really good Evo Knight to block. This might be good for him. I feel like Noah can't do much about this. The old Prince is going crazy. And Mortar's on tower. Riley helping out Obito. <laughs> you can see Riley on the cannonballs. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much it. No real chance for Noah to come back at this point. Alright, maybe Obito can get the reverse sweep. We'll have to see. Get ready for the next battle. Battle, battle, battle. Next up we have Kati trying to take down Obito. Obito does still have his back up against the wall. He has to beat Kati and one other girl in order to take home the win for the boys. Seeing the Electro Wizard, I think this might be Pekka or Mega Knight, some type of bridge spam deck. And Kati does have Hog Earthquake. Ooh, I don't know who I want to win. Because I kind of want the boys to win, but at the same time, Kati's playing Hog Earthquake, so I gotta give her some bonus points for that. I think she's quite a good player. She doesn't have that many medals now, but I'm pretty sure she got some decent ladder finishes back in the day. At least top 10,000, but I'm not sure. Maybe better than that. Maybe closer to the top 1,000. Yeah, Obito does have Ram Rider. I'm not sure if he has Pekka or Mega Knight, though. Okay, it is Mega Knight. Honestly, I don't like this matchup too much for Obito. But he is up a lot of Elixir. We'll see if Kati tries to get the King Tower activation here against the Mega Knight. I don't think she can though because the Little Prince is going to get a lot of damage if she does try to do anything funny. Obito could ability here. Yeah, there's the ability. A little bit late, but still going to probably get a ton of damage here. Wow, really good start for Obito. Honestly, I feel like this matchup is 
not very good for Mega Knight because he just doesn't have that many good hog counters. Ever since Ram Rider got the nerf, it's just not very good against Hog Rider. But he's in a really good spot now, Obito. King Tower activation is definitely going to help out too. We'll see if he has Snowball or Barbarian Barrel. If he has Snowball, he definitely has a good chance to win. But if he has the Bar Barrel, I wouldn't be surprised if Catty might still make it close. Wait, actually, I think Obito might also only have one evolution. He told me he only has two evolutions, the Evo Mortar and Evo Knight, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I guess he does only have one Evo. Catty does have both Evos here, so this will put him at a bit of a disadvantage. Gonna be a nice Mother Witch here, at least. Tesla's just so strong on defense, but nice poison for Obito. Just a bit of chip damage and getting rid of the Evo Firecracker. Always good. Not the best ability. Gonna die to the Tesla. But not that bad either. You know, Barbaro's kind of nice to kill the Firecrackers at least. So, that's not too bad. Ooh. Hold up. I don't know if he should have played that Mega Knight. I would have played that on the Hog Rider. Wait, hold up. Catty is actually coming back. But she is still down a little bit, so... Obito is still in the driver's seat. Okay, shouldn't be any Hog Rider damage, but Firecracker is unfortunately coming back. I'm feeling some pain right now for Obito just watching these Firecrackers harass him. What a rude Firecracker. <laughs> Okay, good play by him to not let the Evo Knight cross the bridge. Man, that firecracker took like two minutes to die. <laughs> he just has to def defend perfectly, but that's going to be pretty hard to do. Nice poison though, killing the Evo firecracker and chipping down the tower a bit. He's going to just need to avoid every single hog hit, which I don't know if he can. Aggressive Ram Rider, but... Bit of a misplaced Tesla by Catty. I think both players are feeling a bit of pressure right now, so it's hard to play perfect for them. Bit of a late firecracker. No damage on tower. Should be no hog hits. Obito's defending quite well now. He's definitely stepping up his game, but that was a beautiful firecracker shot. Catty may go in for a hog rider at any time. Oh, the knight a little bit too low. Oh, that's so good for Catty. Really good ability by Obito, though. Man, it's pretty much neck and neck now. Ooh, he is going all in on the right side. I don't think I agree with that. Oh, I think that was a mistake. Yeah, that's not really going to result in anything. I'm panicking right now for Obito. I mean, he needs something crazy. Maybe a Mother Witch or something. Maybe a mistake by Catty, a messed up Tesla or something. No, she's not going to make the mistake. Well, dang. The girls won. Three to one win for the girls. Good game. Congrats to the girls for winning. We may have a rematch sometime, so make sure to subscribe to get notified about that. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.